you so much for your company this morning and we welcome back Martin Cooper from Harcourts Cooper & Co for a bit of an update on the housing market now that there is a new government. Morning Martin. Good morning. Lovely to have you back in the studio. It's been an age since you've been here with us. Um, let's start by having a bit of a chat about housing and crisis. Do you think there's a housing crisis? No, I don't, I don't think so. I think definition of a crisis is a, is a time of intense difficulty and danger. And I, I don't see that. Look, look, the properties I sold to people the last 10 years, they're not coming to me and saying, I have a crisis, you know, all the capital gains that I've had. Uh, at the moment, we've got two feature TV programs, you know, prime time. Mm. Tarmody's getting people, taking them down to the regions. They're cashing up in Auckland. Yeah. They're not saying they've got a crisis. They're choosing a better lifestyle because Auckland property prices have been good to them and it's supporting the regions. The other one is a slice of paradise where people are actually, they're actually buying homes. They're not yeah. really in a crisis. Mm. Okay. So, so no is your answer, isn't it? No I think crisis. that was a crisification is my new word. It was a it's political a, rhetoric to, to win votes. Mm. It's not that bad. It's a good word. Well, thank you. Yeah. In the lead up to the election, I was looking at selling a house and everyone seems to have an opinion on what elections do to housing markets. I'm curious to know what has happened since, in your opinion. Well, um, there's a little bit of anecdotal evidence now that they've had this foreign buyers policy, a few people rushing in to buy, but really it's waking up again. The last five months, Auckland property market's been like constipated. There's been a blockage. <laughs> it hasn't been pleasant. They it's need to uncomfortable. Gut health, yeah. But it, it, will, it will pass. And what we're seeing now, people don't like um, the orange light. You know, when you're driving along, when it's green, you just keep going, but yeah. there's hesitation. An election creates hesitation. Mm -hmm. And generally the population says, well, wait and see. We'll wait and see what the outcome is. So it's now we know what we've got. People are getting on and uh, it's waking up again. Mm. Now this banning of foreign buyers, it's been uh, sort of bandied around at the moment. Is that going to impact on property prices? Well, I think there was another political hot potato that foreigners are coming up and buying up our country. One thing, none of them are buying New Zealand land and they're not taking it to China. They're not taking it to America. It all stays here. But uh, Australia, they've had a xenophobia for years about foreign buyers. And I look at the data from New South Wales, they've increased stamp duty for foreign buyers. They put in the restrictions where a foreign buyer can only buy a new product, mm. not a second-hand product. But they, they survey in detail. They still have one in ten of the buyers there are foreign buyers. So the buyers find a way around it, and I don't think it'll have a great impact on our New Zealand property market. Right. What about this plan for Labor to build 10,000 new houses a year? What sort of effect do you think that might have? Well, that might be where a crisis will happen for Mr Phil Twyford, because he's made big quotes. Um, a time of intense difficulty for him to deliver. <laughs> because last year in Auckland, 7,200 new builds, that was the total. They're saying they're going to build 10,000 new homes a year across New Zealand. 5,000 of those are to come. It'll take a while to get set up. Mm. 5,000 of those are going to come in to the Auckland market. And they're saying they're going to be in what they call the affordable range, affordable between $500,000 and $650,000. Now, I work with developers constantly, so he is going to be a very busy man to deliver that. But they are aspirational new government in place, so they're going to work very hard to achieve it. It's going to be difficult, but we're going to have light rail everywhere, pine trees everywhere, free education, and the money is going to be coming out from the government. That's always good times because you feel confident in your business, there's money slushing around inside the economy. So I think we'll have a little boom, um, but the other interesting thing about all these affordable homes coming in, do you know the population of Auckland at the moment? We, we quiz. Oh, one, oh point one point. I want to say four, one point four. Three. Yeah, it's actually got the statistics department telling us one point five million. Wow. So for some reason they picked uh, two thousand and forty-three. The futurists. Do you know what they reckon the population will be then? What? You'll guess. If three you like. million. No, not that high, but two point three million. So they're saying between now and uh, two thousand and forty-three, another eight hundred thousand people are going to be coming. So what happens is you build all these affordable houses and do all this, but New Zealand and Auckland is a city, or a desirable city. So as quickly as someone sells up here, goes out to the regions, there's more people wanting to come here. We've got great employment, we've got a great economy, great schools, education, safety. We're away from all the dramas of the world. So New Zealand, yeah. Yeah. what a great place to Not live. Not a bad place to be. Hey, Martin, you're always interesting to have in the studio. Thank you so much for joining us. And you can get in touch or find your nearest Harcourts Cooper & Co team on their website, cooperandco.co.nz.